All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. It's uh, just a really quick update on some new planning center things that I wanted to make sure everybody is aware of. Uh, when you log in to planning center, you sh your dashboard should look something like this. Um, I just feel like I want to go through a couple of things. One is this uh, being able to block out dates, which most of you already do. I uh, just want to make sure that you know how to do it. Okay, so down here under your calendar, you can click on block out dates. Um, let's see, I know that in November, I am going to be speaking on this day and on the 18th, and so I need to block those two days out. Uh, I can select, my, I'll just do beginning and the end of the day. And uh, it's important too that you would put a reason in. So for me, I'll be speaking in main service. And uh, this is a one-time thing, so I don't need to do that. Accept it, and I'm good to go for that. I got my date set off on the side. Um, Another thing that I just found out actually before I pressed record on this video is the next time I'm scheduled is October 28th. If you hover over that, you have a rehearse section. And so there's a music stand which will give you the um, PDFs uh, of the chord charts. You can play the media, um, so any attached songs or videos, and then you can download um, all the stuff here as well if you haven't already done so. Okay, so that's good. The main thing that I want to go through today is uh, something called Rehearsal Mix. And so let's look at this upcoming service, this Sunday, September 30th. For some of our songs, not all, but some of our songs have uh, links to what is called Rehearsal Mix. So Hosanna is one. If you go all the way to the right, you'll notice on the attachments it has 19 attachments, okay? so. Um, uh, since I have different, uh, I'm the administrator for this account, I have, uh, I can see all of these things here, but let's just say you're um, in Hosanna. Actually, let's go down to Cornerstone and say, for Cornerstone, um, I have sort of the ability to see the bass mix, acoustic guitar, um, alto mix, uh, the drum mix, electric, and piano. And so, uh, let's say you're one of our bass players. For you, you'll only be able to see this bass mix. And what this is, is it's a, uh, it's a track that plays the studio versions of the, or the recorded versions of the songs for you, and you can just listen to that. So um, for Cornerstone, for example, let's check out, if, say if I'm the keyboard player, I can hover over that, I can click this. It'll pop up a media player. And it's supposed to play something. There it is. Okay, so I can listen to the whole uh, track for my specific instrument. Um, if you're a vocalist, it has that as well. So there's a one harmony part for this song. I'm singing alto that day. Uh, why don't I skip through here? So, and I trust the sweetest frame, but holy trust in Jesus' name. So, if there's a harmony part, I can find it here. Christ alone. That's not harmony. I'm pretty sure she does do harmony at some point. So anyway, um, you're only going to be able to see whatever your assignments are. So if you're if you play acoustic guitar uh, and electric, you might be able to see both. Um, but if you want to download these tracks, uh, instead of clicking on this you know audio icon on the side, uh, I'm just going to click on this part itself and it's gonna download it for me here okay now the important thing to remember is that if you download these things uh, these tracks which you're totally able to um, that's it each time you download a track uh, we get charged for it okay and it's like a dollar twenty or something each track 
So my recommendation is um, you go through our song list and you just download all the parts for either your instrument or your vocal part and uh, you just have it on your computer. Um, I, I think if you download it twice, you know, from the same computer, it, it's still going to charge us once, I think. But uh, just to be safe, you can either just stream it online like, um, like I just did, or you can download it and then um, just, you know, keep it on your iPod or whatever it is that you do, burn it to a CD and you'll just have it, okay? So um, the songs that we have, these rehearsal mix tracks on, again, it's not all of them, but it's for, uh, we have it for 10,000 Reasons, for At the Cross in E, we have it for Cornerstone in the original key of C, we have it for um, God is Able in the key of A. Original key is B, but we do the song in A, so I have the tracks uh, available in A. We have it for Healer, which is, uh, I know we usually do uh, in E or B, but we, I have it here for the key of E, for a female lead. We have uh, rehearsal mix tracks for Hosanna, key of E. We have it for Our God, original key of B. Uh, we have it for Revelation Song in the key of D. Um, this song, actually, the Everlasting, uh, doesn't have official rehearsal mix multi-tracks, but there are a couple of uh, homemade videos that I made for guitar parts, mostly that um, if you're playing acoustic or electric, it'll point you to those. And that's from our YouTube channel. We have it for The Stand, uh, where the Spirit of the Lord is, original key of G flat, and we have it for uh, the song Your Name in the key of B. Okay, so um, not every song uh, has a rehearsal mix. I don't know how new this thing is, but we're just giving it a shot. So my encouragement would be for you to try it out, okay? Last thing... Um, I'll, I have this in another email, but October 14th, we're going to introduce a new song. It's called 10,000 Reasons. And so you can go ahead and check that out. You can download the song, or you can watch it on YouTube. Um, you can get the chord sheet here. Or that's the lyric, sorry. There is a chord sheet. Ah, there it is. It's in the key of G. And again, this does have a rehearsal mix to it, okay? So the choir mix is um, a whole choir, not the individual soprano, alto, tenor parts, okay? So that'll do it for this little video. Uh, thank you again for watching, and we will see you soon. Thanks.